Chloe and you guys are watching the not so simple life with Chloe Chloe. So pretty much I revamped my YouTube you could say. So now that it's 2020 I wanted to get back into vlogging and I have like adult ADHD. That's what I call it. I want to do everything that I possibly can. But anyways, so with 2020 I wanted to start vlogging again. I wanted to start vlogging and just showing you guys how crazy my life is being a mother of three married working full-time got my side hustles on the side I just wanted to show you guys the life of Cloco like this people always ask me like Chloe I don't know how you do all well. and I don't know how I do it all either like sometimes I'm talking way too fast and I can't even understand myself but anyways I want to share 10 facts about me so if you guys want to keep watching keep watching scroll a little bit more you'll see it I'm gonna start but don't forget please like comment subscribe I'm actually gonna do a 500 subscriber giveaway all right guys fact number one I am an only child I actually believe I think my mom said that I was supposed to have a brother but she said that if she was gonna have the brother she probably wouldn't have had me. that wasn't a very fun fact but I wanted to share it anyways fact number two I was able to travel along the whole West Coast side now for some of you guys that's probably living in the mainland you guys are probably like yeah great no great for me guys we live on a freaking island um i literally had people ask me if we travel in canoes like no we don't travel in canoes we got cars guys we got cars um but being the only child my parents actually split up a while back probably when i was i think believe in the third grade um my dad met my stepmom got married they moved to the mainland so i got to go up there every summer every winter and spend time with them my dad actually is a cdo truck driver so when he first moved up there he was um starting his own truck company and he would do all the loads from all along the west coast you know all the way from washington all the way down so i was actually lucky to go with him and travel all through those states so it was pretty cool pretty exciting um i did a lot of sleeping because it's just like hills 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 ooh, small town hills 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 ooh, a mall but it was it was an adventure it was educational we got to do a lot of stops along the way i got to be in two places at one time i went by the border i was like foot here foot here i'm here guys fact number three i am deathly afraid of geckos lizards don't tell me about jackson chameleons because i actually love them they move slow uh, when I was little, I was in the backseat of my dad's car. They were taking me home and I felt something land on my head. I didn't think of much of it at the time. So I put my hand on my head and then I felt this squishy thing. So that squishy thing wiggled forward here, jumped off of my forehead, landed into my dad's arm. He was in the driver's seat. So it landed on his right arm and then it started crawling. I still didn't know it was a litter lizard. And so he swished it off of his arm then it went on to my stepmom's left thigh because she's in the passenger seat and she wiggled and screamed and flicked it and then it landed on top of the steering wheel or whatever so my dad was able to pick it up and throw it out the window it was a freaking lizard ever since then i think that's what just killed it killed it i do not like it i don't like it they crawl they're yucky they're they, I just, yeah, they eat the bugs, but no, just don't come by me. If they're far from a distance and totes fine, but once I can see it up close and that starts wiggling and starts moving, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm going to get out of there as fast as I can. <sighs> Besides that, the only other thing I'm afraid of is the ocean. Now you guys are probably thinking, Chloe, you live in Hawaii. You're surrounded by water. Yes, I am, but I'd rather go swim in a pool. I am afraid of that I can't see what's at the bottom of my feet. So, my friends that are watching this right now, you guys are probably thinking like, uh, bitch, you just went like, you, don't you canoe? Don't you paddle? I'm like, yeah, I paddle in a canoe. You don't see me jumping out of the canoe to go swim and say hi to the fishes and sharks at the bottom. Like, no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm in the canoe, so I'm safe. I'm in a, to me, I'm in a little boat, okay? And that, that keeps me safe. I don't have to get out. So when we had um, practice the other, not the other day, but last season, and we had to practice hooli drills, which is basically pretending that your canoe flipped over, and then you have to flip the canoe back over and climb in. Yeah, um, we went out to the sandbar, and we were a little off to the edge of the sandbar where the drop is. We're like, okay, we're going to go right here, and I'm freaking out. I am so freaking out. I didn't want anybody to know how scared I was. So I played it cool. 
I played it cool. I played it cool. And then I just was like, oh my God, we're fucking drifting. We're drifting further and further away from the sandbar where I can touch bottom. Okay. I was freaking out and it was to a point like, oh, I, I, I was just going to leave them and I was going to just swim. I was just going to swim back to the sandbar where I can stand and I can see white sand on the ground. I just, <sighs> if I can't see the bottom, I do not want to swim with you. Uh, I will go to, if you guys are familiar with Oahu, there's Waimeo. I grew up going to Waimeo all the time and it's deep there. However, the water is so clear that I can see the bottom. I know that there's a rock over there. I know that there's some fishes over there. I know that the dolphins swim all the way in the back where the far rocks are. Like that I'm fine with if I can see what's at the bottom. All right. End of discussion on that one. Fact number four. I am in love with sloths. Crazy as that may seem, I love sloths. There's something about sloths. I think it's because the opposite of a gecko, they're fast, right? Lizards are fast and sloth are just so slow. Like me and a sloth could never be friends. No, we could never be friends. I'm too much energetic and he's just so chill. Like my husband's a sloth. That's why we always butt heads. But I love sloths. Something about it. They're just so fluffy and that they're just, they're like fluffy Jackson chameleons in another it's a reptile that one's not a reptile but you know what i mean that's that's what it is and i love sloths i love to get the socks from target i love taking we call my sister-in-law sloth because she moves so damn slow i mean that girl changes her outfits three times before she makes it out the door but there's something about sloths that i absolutely love so i would actually love to see one and hold one and just like let it hang on my arm i think that'd be pretty cool you know i'm in love with sloths Fact number five, I, when it comes to food, I love seafood. That's my weakness. I'm a sucker for crab legs. I am a sucker for oysters. I'm a sucker for mussels, poke, like, I love seafood. My dad and my stepmom used to make just crab legs and just throw it out on the table and here's like, okay, let's do this. I don't need those crunchy things to break the shell. I got teeth and I would just bite it and that's it I'm done let's move on to the next one and now I got my kids so good into eating crab legs that they like to challenge me on who can take the leg the meat out of the crab leg who can take the meat out in one piece and then who has the longest part right because you want to dip it in the butter and then you want to eat it but me and my boys we challenge each other on who can crack it without breaking it apart but we love our seafood like oh my gosh and it sucks because there's not a lot of places down here that really carry um, a seafood buffet anymore. We had one that was called Makino Chayas, but they shut down. And that was like an all-you-could-eat buffet. And they just had all-you-can-eat crab legs. Like, all-you-can-eat. Oysters. They had it. They had it. They had the Rockefeller oyster. They had just all kinds of stuff. But I'm in love with seafood. So, fact number six. I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm a tomboy. I'm an only child. My dad wanted a boy. He got me. I wasn't into the cheerleading stuff. I wasn't into that raw, raw pom-poms. I wasn't into that dancing hula, you know, all of that stuff. I was into playing with balls. <laughs> Baseballs, softballs, basketball, volleyball, that kind of balls. Get your mind out of the gutter. All right, guys, fact number six. I swear I just said, all right, got a gaga, a gaga. Lady Gaga. Into sports. Softball is my baby. My boys are playing baseball. My four-year-old's in t-ball. Like, I just love it. I love that they're playing a sport that I absolutely know and love. Um, I played softball my whole entire life. I was supposed to play for college until I got pregnant with my twins, but that's okay. It, they are a blessing. Scratch that. I'm kidding. I don't like kids. That's actually fact number seven. I hate kids. Not that I hate your kids. I just have no patience for kids. Hence, the only child. Don't judge me. Anyways, back to softball. Uh, that's been my sport, guys. That's been my go-to sport. I ended up playing slow pitch for a co-ed team, men's team, everything you could think of. Played it and absolutely love it. But I'm also a football fan. Go Eagles. That's my team because we got that one ring. We got that one ring. And that's all. Just one. But one is better than none. Anyways, that's my team. Softball, my college team, is actually the Gators. I really do like their team. 
they're really really good but yep football softball happens to be my two favorite sports um my kids are just sportsaholics they're playing uh baseball right now they do paddling and then they play football they're playing football as well when that season comes up so we're a sports family like crazy all right guys fact number eight which i kind of already said this is gonna go with fact number nine is my adult adhd that's what i diagnosed myself with and basically i'm not really saying i have adhd i'm saying that i have i feel like i have symptoms like it if that makes sense so i am a very energetic bubbly outgoing loud person that I have to put in a bubble sometimes or what I like to call a box I need to put myself in that box because once I open the box yeah cloak will just be coming out of nowhere sometimes but that is the one thing I do love about myself and I promised myself I would never change is how positive and how energetic I am um, I can literally turn your bad day into a good day like I don't know that's just the vibe that's just the energy that I have and I don't want to ever mess that up I really learned growing up that um, you know when they say when when they say like when you leave work you leave work right don't bring work home and that's the kind of person I am, person I am like I will be frustrated the hell out at home like I could literally be yelling at my kids yelling at my husband she ain't getting done around the house boom 20 minutes later I'm in my job and I'm happy go lucky that's just how I am that that's literally how I am and I'm not saying I hide it I'm not saying I hold it in but I know how to separate it. Work is work, home is home. That's that's just how I do it. And when I'm at work, I am so positive. I am so bright. I'm so, like, even though I had a bad day at home, I'm making now a good day. Like that's the kind of person I am. And I don't know where the hell it comes from. I really don't. So I thank the Lord for that. Um, and I get it all the time from my patients, from my coworkers, from my boss. Like they just like, you know, Chloe, you're so bright you're so positive I said I know let's do this guys I'm dancing in the hallways I'm doing like I'm doing squats in the hallways I'm doing high kicks I don't even know what the hell is going on sometimes but that's just the energy I want to bring and not just to work to anywhere if I go to a party and that mic is there like guys I'm gonna take your mic I'm known to be an MC every once in a while let me just tell you that <coughs> that's just me okay so that's where my ADHD kicked in and that's pretty much where my side hustles kicked in is I get bored very easily I've done many many jobs I've tried many jobs from desk jobs to to waitressing to computers to banks to retail I I tried it all and I get bored I get bored very easily if there's not something for me to constantly do last number 10 fact is kind of weird but I feel like some of you guys can relate my number 10 fact about me is I'm actually afraid of dying and not actually like dead that's not that's not how I mean it when I say like I'm scared of dying it's more like not me dying but what happens after I die I guess you could say like for me now that I have kids uh like before I had kids I never really cared right but now the moment you have kids and the moment you have people that you're taking care of that you have responsibilities for your whole mindset changes um so when I say like I'm afraid of dying it's not so much me dying as far as being dead it's more so like is my kids gonna be okay when I pass am I doing all the right things as a parent to get them to where I know they're gonna be okay am I putting them on the right track are they gonna be doing good in school are they gonna be in college are they gonna get a good job are they gonna have a home I don't want to leave them with debt like that's just all the things that run through my mind so my kids are really mad because I get hard on them Kyoki gets hard on them and they don't really realize it yet they're young my twins are 11 my little ones four but that's what I mean when I'm afraid of dying is more so is my kids gonna be okay all right that was your 10 facts about me and I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I talk a lot I hope all of that sunk in so you know or whatever if it did it and I hope you guys enjoyed yourself like comment subscribe leave me a message write to me I'll write back to you guys follow me on Instagram we're doing a 500 script subscriber giveaway and I will post more details soon deuces <laughs>